So the parts off the shadow, a little bit of a closer look. Clear coat really just, it's coming all apart. So I'm gonna have to take it right down to primer. That's the original, well, the original color since I painted it because this has like a bracket over it so this hasn't seen sun so that's what it should look like and that's what it does look like so I'm gonna have to sand through scrape off that decal under it's actually pretty good super dirty but paint wise it's actually not that bad probably because 95% of it's covered by something you can really only yeah you can see this where it's faded so well, I'll probably get to cleaning this off, sanding this. Nice weather, so I want to just paint it so I can write it. Ever fade. But only where the sun was hitting it. It's definitely the clear coat. I think I borrowed that clear from somewhere, so... Didn't pay a whole lot for it. I'm not going to tell you where I got it, but obviously I got my money's worth. So that was all covered probably by the seat, I guess. It looks perfect. And then there's where it's almost white and pink it's from the sun, so. first time doing a paint job like that like it was so I primed it then it was like a silver metallic and then your candy red which is basically transparent red and then clear so pretty cool You don't need fancy tools to do paint, but you do need a block of some kind. Could be a piece of wood, could be a piece of foam, whatever. But you're not going to be able to get something flat with your fingers.
Trying to knock down all that hard edge here. And I do not want to go too deep. That's the first coat of clear. Minimal dust. It's looking pretty good. Bay here. So the clear did turn out nice. It's nice and flat. But you can still see a bit of the low spots there. You can kind of see the outline. So. I'm going to take probably 1,000 grit wet, clean those up till it's smooth, give her another coat. Same with these, you can kind of see an outline, so 1,000 grit, clean it up wet, and it'll, it'll turn out. Tank, same thing, pretty much everywhere I sanded, you can still see. <laughs> um... I knew I was gonna have to do this. It's, it's not the end of the world, but so here, 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 everywhere. Anyway, I'll get at her. And so if I don't burn through the black at all, so if I'm sanding and all I see is white dust, we're good. If I see black, it means I'm into the color. I'm gonna have to put another coat on it, but I shouldn't have to. show you this in a second you'll be able to see all the high and low spots here so you can see it's all white that's clear black I'm through the clear weekend project turned into a week long project so that should be enough to actually see what I'm talking about 
So anywhere shiny, that's low. Sandpaper's not touching it. Anywhere dull, I'm sanding it, right? There you go, gone. So we know when we clear this next, we're not gonna see those old lines of the bodywork or the sanding that I did. You're just it's gonna be it's gonna be done. So that's gone. So that's going to turn out perfect other than that spot right there and there. Not too concerned about it because if I took this whole area down to that depth, I'm going to be burning through. I'm going to be spraying black again. So I'm not too concerned about that. I'll spray it on a little bit thicker here and here and it'll be super slight. I don't care, basically. So take this entire fender down to this finish with 2000 grit and then all these low spots are going to jump out at me and then I can deal with them as I see fit. And I've got this on a foam pad, so it's gonna bend over all these curves. If I just had my hand or a block here, I'm gonna be burning through my edges. So this will kind of let it go around all the high and low spots without burning through kind of equal pressure, I guess. There you go. So they're super shallow, but they're enough you can see them. Can't feel them now. I could spray this and you'd probably, you'd probably never see them, but I'll go a little bit further with it. It's all sanded it down, 2000 grit. I know you can still see some of it, but it's so shallow. I don't think it's gonna show up once I clear coat it. Front fender, again, that's all covered, so don't care. Side panels. And then the back fender, it's outside because it didn't have anything wrong with it. So, one out of five things didn't need a respray. <laughs> I got the back fender on. I did that last night and I didn't have the camera going, but it looks pretty good. The tank's just sitting on there right now. I'll take it off. Actually, you know what? I'll probably leave it there, put the decals on, because that's how the bike's going to be sitting. So I'll do it. The side panels. And they also get a decal. Okay. First side panel. And there's our sticker. They look really good. So I'm gonna look at a picture. That's the opposite one, but it'll do. So it looks like looks like the top of the lowercase kind of go along this line. Now, they should have gave me transfer paper with this, and they didn't. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape, painter's tape, like the cheap stuff that doesn't stick to anything. I'll put that on. That way I got something to push down on, because I don't want to be grabbing the bottom of this sticker or else it's gonna, it's not gonna stick well. Actually what I'll do, so I'll line it up like that. So I got it lined up with the top of the lowercase, even though it looks crooked. Let's try that again. Eh, that looks better. If you want your stickers put on straight, don't call me. <laughs> that. 
Sorcerers. Mm. So now I'm gonna work this down. Let's hope we don't have any bubbles. That's on, no bubbles. Or the bend right there and there. I'm trying to get this peeled up. No bubbles. That's that one. That's it. That's done. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without screwing it up. I got some pictures of me painting this bike back in the day. I'll post those up now while I'm struggling through this. I just painted it in the backyard. I've probably only been painting for like... 45 minutes at the point when I started doing this, so didn't turn out perfect, but it's not that bad either. Oh, I'm thinking I got the wrong decals because this one, the the Honda's curved. This one is just flat. I mean, it's not gonna look bad, but. Okay, so this one's the Honda Shadow 500. And what's this one? Oh. 84. Come on. So I got 84. So we're putting 84 stickers on an 85. I'll live with that. And we're going to put it probably something like that, I guess. So there's a flat one, so it's an 84. So I got 84 or 500 stickers instead of 85, 750. It's fine. It's actually a different shaped tank too, so. Yeah, calling that clean. Hmm. Yeah, this sucks. Hold my hand like that. See what looks good, which to me that's level right there. Hmm. Back a little, maybe? I'll touch it there. Oh, well, that's not sticking very good. Uh-oh. So I got an issue with these stickers. They're not sticking. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's nothing to them. Jay. Unreal. Well, what's the good of them? Are you kidding? These, like, they probably are from the 80s because they don't stick at all. That's awesome. Moving on. We're going to just put the tank on and the front fender, side panels, put the battery in it. We're going to drive it. And I'll get stickers made locally, I guess. Man. It's hard to find good help. Give this thing a little trim. we got a fighting chance of it. Seeing one up here. That. That looks right. And then these go one way or the other. Oh, yeah. I do have one over here. I wonder if that might just sit like that. Seat's going on. 
Make sure everything's looks like it is. Make sure everything's tucked away here. This goes up through here. This goes like that. Come on. There we go. Has definitely peed on this machine. Oh man. This thing will be going back outside. <laughs> this goes on here. Like this. These are not a stupid design, but they're not a smart one either. Like this. Well, she's pretty much together there now. That's in the back seat, which is right here. Better in yet, but that's the gist of it. You can tell what it's gonna look like tank, front fender, it's pretty sharp looking, back fender, side panel, 